Hey guys, so today I have my 38 week pregnancy vlog. I wanted to say 39 because I am now 39 weeks pregnant. But um, yeah, this is going to be up a little bit later than I like to. But I was 39 weeks yesterday. So um, for this past week, it's pretty much just been crazy contractions. Um, it's getting to the point where it's like, oh, I have to get Lexi out of here. Because she wants to sit and chew on her toy, which is going to be loud. One second. So this week has pretty much just been crazy contractions. So on Sunday, we ended up going to the hospital, actually, after I'd been having contractions for 12 hours straight. Um and nothing. I wasn't even dilated at all. Um, so that was frustrating. Um, we, at first we were going to wait, um, because they recommended maybe waiting two hours and then checked again, but we started to walk around a little bit and, um, but at that point they were just kind of like going away instead of getting worse. And so I was just like, no, let's just go home. Um, I figured if it hadn't done anything after 12 hours, it wasn't going to in two hours. So we decided to just go home. And, um, but after that, um, I started to get, like on Monday night, I started to get some that were a lot more painful. Um, but then like just when I get hopeful that it might be the real thing, they like go away. So, it's just kind of getting annoying, <laughs> and it's exhausting because you're like, you know, when it's like painful and you have to like stop and breathe through it, or, or if it keeps me up like really late at night, so, yeah. So, I had that late Monday night, and then Tuesday around dinner time, same thing. Um, I've had a few today, but nothing consistent. Uh, yesterday was our anniversary and about when we were on the way home I started getting contractions again and they pretty much lasted like until like after one in the morning so I mean it was over six hours but they kind of like fizzled out like twice in between and at that point I was just like well, if it's the real thing, it'll either keep me up or wake me up later. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if it would, like, turn into the real thing if I, like, stayed up and maybe, like, jogged around or something. But when it's, like, gone on two in the morning, I'm just like, I don't care right now. I just want to try to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. When it's the real thing, I'm really hoping it'll be, like, really obvious because I like my water breaks or something because <laughs> yeah I've just been having really painful contractions and it's getting frustrating so yeah I'm still congested but it's a little bit better um yeah at my appointment on Tuesday I had gained two more pounds which put me puts me at 29 and I was hoping not to go much over 30 so hopefully I won't um I'm doing a week so hopefully fingers crossed she comes soon um and I don't gain too much more <laughs> but um yeah on Monday my blood pressure was a little bit higher than normal but not like dangerous um and then on Tuesday I realized at the end of the day my ankles were like really swollen and they're still a little bit swollen. Um, I think I've just reached that point. Um, yeah. Thankfully I haven't swollen too much anywhere. Like I can still get my wedding ring on and off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping I can get to the end without taking that off. But um, yeah, so just my legs kind of ache and yeah, I'm just ready to 
ready for this girl to come, as I've said many times before. Um, I ended up calling my doctor on Wednesday, and then I ended up, went and had some labs done. It's took urine and blood. Um, because I realized I've had, like, my vision blur a little bit, like, many times over the past at least a week. And so between having the higher blood pressure and then the vision blurring and then the swelling, it just kind of worried me a little bit because those are signs of preeclampsia. And, um, but my chest came back fine, so I'm hoping the vision thing is just related to my pregnancy in another way and that it goes away after I have her. Um, Hopefully it's not like an actual eye issue, um, but I do have to go to the eye doctor soon anyway. Um, I just have a few pairs of contacts left. So, and now Duxie's barking. Ugh. Anyway, so enough blabber. Um, let's just dive right into what's in my hospital bag. Um, there are some last minute things I have to add. Um, like my makeup bag, um, yes, I'm bringing makeup to the hospital, I know some people are like, really, what's the point, but, you know, I need at least some so I look and feel somewhat alive and like myself, so, yeah, I'm sure I'll make time to, um, at least before we leave. Um, and I don't want to be taking pictures without makeup on, so yeah. Um, like lately, even though I've been kind of lazy, I've been trying to do something that'll last well <laughs> when I do put makeup on, just in case I end up going to the hospital. <laughs> but, you know, it could happen in the middle of the night too, when I don't have anything on, so. Um, yeah, so I am wearing makeup, um, but I don't know, I might do, I'm just bringing like basics really, um, I'm bringing a dry clean beauty blender so I just have to dampen it and be good to go, um, my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint that just has a little bit left, um, and then as far as I'm just bringing um, this sample of Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and then my Tarte Colored Clay Bronzer Blush, because um, that's kind of a two-in-one, and then the brush that came with it. And there's other things I have to throw in here if I can at the last minute, like my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, my eyelash curler, my powder foundation, um, and then a little setting spray, an eyeshadow brush, that's the Sedona Lace EB13. Um, for eyeshadow, just a Wet n Wild Brulee and Jane Clay for the crease, so just simple. Um, I'm hoping to be able to throw my Milani Brow Kit in here, but just in case, I um, have this travel size of the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. And then, um, again with mascara, I'm hoping to throw another one in here, but I just have a sample size of Lancome De Finicils Mascara. And then just this other MAC Concealer. And a sample set, sample of um, Cover FX Matte Primer. Again, just in case I don't have another primer. So, you know, I'd say I did pretty good with keeping it simple. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I will have to try to bring my Elf Kabuki as well. Um, and then I always have in my purse um, one of these brushes and one of these concealer brushes for touch-ups. So, 
you know, those I'll be good with. So, yeah. So that's basically it for the makeup bag. Um, again, I think I did pretty well keeping it simple, if you know me. So, I have, I do have a, quite a bit of bath type stuff because I definitely will need to take a shower. Um, because if I don't wash my hair, it's just gross. Um, I have this travel set that I filled with um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, Justin's body wash, um, some eye makeup remover. I have this little baggie travel toothpaste, toothbrush, flossers, and mouthwash. So I try to just, you know, keep it light, but still have the essentials. Um, Q-tips, contact solution, um, the Earth Mama Angel Baby, Angel Baby New Mama bottom spray. I mentioned that before, but I wanted to bring that, of course. Um, I have a little smaller bath poof and my and a razor. Um, then I have a tube of body lotion. I put um, the Burt's Bees lavender lotion in here, so it would be baby friendly. Um, and then cotton rounds and more Q-tips because I got this little thingy after that. And then I have um, this bottle of hair stuff. It's the bottle from a travel size of the Healthy Sexy Hair leave-in conditioner, but I just, it was empty, so I just put in um, the Tresemme one that I always use, the heat tamer spray, and then a travel size deodorant that I had around that was getting low anyway, and then just bare minerals, little mini size moisturizer, um, my Clinique moisturizing gel, just so I'd have a general face moisturizer I can use morning or night. Um, and then some toner, a little, just a little bit of toner in this travel size bottle. Um, yeah, contact case, um, acne spot treatment, a comb. So, yeah. Again, plus stuff, but oh. But I just wanted to have it just in case. Um, and then I have this other travel toothbrush set for Justin because I know we'll probably forget like to grab toothbrushes and stuff at the last minute and that way he won't have to worry about it. And then I have um, then I have a turby twist for my head because I like to have those. I hate having to use a bulky towel on my head. Um, I have some uh, in this bag nursing pads and depends <laughs> so that I won't have to worry about ruining underwear or anything like that. So yeah. Yeah, so her those are good to have after baby, so I am bringing some, so there, I'm covered on both ends in that bag. Um, I have a hairbrush, um, this is actually, this is the same one I use every day when I blow dry my hair, but I just picked up this other one on clearance at Walmart, which it really wasn't that much cheaper than it normally is, but hey. I figured it'd be good to have an extra one on hand anyway because occasionally the handles like to break off of my hairbrush and then I'm stuck without one. Like a big round brush that I use all the time. Um, and then I have just some random some little slipper socks, some regular socks, black maxi skirt. 
um, and these cheap pants um, for just lounging around that I got at Walmart. Um, they ended up being three dollars, even though they weren't marked that. But yeah, it's like, hey, that works. And I didn't really want to get purple, but they're the only ones I could find in my size. Other than light gray, which I don't want to have a light color, just in case. Um, then I have two bottles, just in case. Um, because if we do use a bottle, like, I'd like to know that, you know, she's going to do well with one that I already have. So I have this Nook one and then the Munchkin Latch. And then I have some organic formula just in case and then over here we have a bunch of baby stuff we have ooh. all right I am bringing my nursing pillow um, this is from nursingpillows.com there's always codes out that they have to get this. Basically, you get the $40 off for the cost of the pillow and then you pay shipping. So it just ends up being a lot cheaper than another nursing pillow. Um, so I paid like $12.99. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then for baby, I don't know what I'm going to actually use, so maybe I will I don't know if I'll use all of this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But, um, yeah. I have this, um, just a really lightweight swaddle blanket that my friend Amber gave me. Um, and a little set of three, I think it was. But yeah, I thought that one was cute, so I'm bringing that one. And then these, um, swaddle wraps. So hopefully we'll use these. Um, yeah, one's just like really soft and then. So I'm bringing those and then two um, newborn sleepers. This one with a little hat. And then this one, polka dots with a little whale. So I'm bringing that. I mean, again, I don't know if I'll use, but whatever, we'll see. And then just a plain white little sleeveless uh, onesie, um, some socks, again, just in case, and I want some to at least go with her uh, onesies and dress and stuff, some little mittens. Um, a Wubbanub, because I've heard those are really good, and I had this set of two, um, that my, uh, my husband's mom and her dad got a while back. And then, as far as other clothes, I'm just bringing this little polka dot pink onesie. Um, a couple little headbands for pictures. Um, this one, these two I actually just got yesterday, um, at the children's place. Um, I didn't have anything to go with one of the two dresses I wanted to bring for her to go home in. Um, so I decided to go with this dress since I found a light pink one. Um, cause it has a little bit of like really soft pink in there. So I figured it was close enough, but yeah. So that's the dress and then it has this little, um, sweater that goes with it if it's chilly at all. And then, um, yeah. So that was adorable. So that'll be her kind of going home and kind of picture outfit and then I have this 
sticker that says brand new if you want to use that for any pictures um, that I had gotten in a bump box. I also have monthly pictures that I got from Etsy that I'm really excited to use. So I'll be seeing those, I'm sure, on like Instagram and stuff. So yeah. Um, again, maybe I overpacked. I don't know. But I mean, I don't think it's like a ridiculous amount of stuff. And then, um, yeah. Oh, and I do have, I have some snacks and stuff in the pocket on the other side. Yes, I'm definitely bringing snacks, especially, like, especially for like Justin and stuff. Um, and then he's going to have his own like little duffel bag that he'll throw some stuff in to have as far as like clothes and stuff. So yeah, um, that is it for my 38 week pregnancy vlog and hospital bag video. I will let you guys go and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video whenever that is because I'm not really sure and I'm not promising anything at this point. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I will, like I said before, continue to do, um, baby updates, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.